I am. I am. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about the so-called Rainbow Bridge. Now, I'm sure there's other information about the Rainbow Bridge. I do know the 13th Sun has mentioned the Rainbow Bridge, but I'm not really sure if, you know, everybody... Actually, I don't really care. I mean, you know, I'm just going to say my perspective, and you can do whatever you want with it if you're watching it. Here we go. So the Rainbow Bridge is this idea. Um, it's a certain concept that could help one understand or understand the path to heaven or what you would think to be heaven. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Thor, um, there's a bridge that the god Heimdall guards. He stands there. They call it the Bifrost. Um, but if you look at it in the movie, it looks a lot like a rainbow bridge. And if you look at what it actually does in the movie, it's a bridge between at one end there's a there's a portal that goes to all the other realms and then there's a bridge that leads to Asgard which is like heaven in the you know Norse mythology and there's truth to all mythology so if you know if you study all the mythologies not not that every you know specific detail will um, be you know valid but there's a lot to be learned from all things so rainbow bridge <coughs> um, trying to think what the 13th son said about the rainbow bridge he just he i think he just said something like it's being built and somebody had mentioned it to him and yeah um yeah okay um okay so from my perspective and what you know my self has shown me about the rainbow bridge and this was a while back and i just i lost that notebook so I'm going to try to make a couple of videos because everything that I wrote down, which I remember what I wrote down in those notebooks because it ended up getting thrown away. Made me sad at the time, but, you know, I got over it. So I'm going to try to, you know, document some of what I can remember from my old notebook, um, the Rainbow Bridge. <clears throat> OK, so um, how do I? There's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I don't know where to start. This is the problem. And then I know once I start, I'll be all over the place. So bear with me. Um, Rainbow Bridge. Okay. So imagine that you're sitting. Okay. You're sitting like I am. I'm sitting in this car. And life is good. Life is super good. I don't have a care in the world. Everything is good. I see my life as beautiful and wonderful and everything is amazing and great and all like that. That's an aspect of the Rainbow Bridge. So your frequency, it's like the Rainbow Bridge is a certain frequency or a certain level. So technically the rainbow bridge is everywhere. It's not really a place that you go. It's not really a certain, even a certain specific path that you walk. It's more like a frequency. So when the 13th son talks about, and you'll probably hear me mention the 13th son a lot because he's a good reference point. Because I know I'll, if somebody's watching my videos, they've probably heard of the 13th son. So they're probably going to, you know, be able to feel what I'm saying when I talk about the 13th son. So I'm not like, you know credit where credit is due technically in this identity that would be my elder you know so i gotta give it up to him he's a it's great um 13th the 13th son um he talks about that 13th frequency technically you could say that's like the rainbow bridge because if you're riding that 13th frequency it's like the earth it's like technically who's building it i would say if i had to say someone's building it it would be the most highs are building it. But then there's certain ones down here that facilitate its construction. So it's like like the pioneers. So technically, uh, there's a certain group of souls down here right now that are... I don't want to say that the Rainbow Bridge doesn't exist until we come. But I will say it's kind of like a jungle. It's like, it's like, you know, like when you're walking through the woods... And if somebody's been walking that path a lot, it seems to be cleared out. And, you know, there's not a lot of sticks in the way or no, no, no. You know, a lot of the certain, you know, animals or whatever probably didn't make their homes around this area because, you know, a lot of people tend to travel this way. So, but if it's been there for like 100 years and nobody's ever walked down that path or, you know, maybe it's been a lot longer. Maybe it's been thousands of years and nobody's walked down this path. There's going to be a lot of thorns and just, you know, might be certain beings that, you know, hover around this place and all like that because it hasn't been used. It's like deactivated or whatever you want to call it. 
so the most highs say okay well it's time for the rainbow bridge to come back online it's time for the certain chosen children to be able to walk the path to heaven it's time for them to be able to have a choice so i will send you souls down there to facilitate this choice for these children so that you know nobody can say that you know they didn't get a fair shot they're gonna have a fair shot and based on your karma what you've done it may seem more fair or less fair but it's always fair um so certain ones you know certain ones come here and they they'd be like the front lines so it's like they got a machete they go ahead of the group and they hack through all the jungle and you know clear the path if there's any like you know animals or something that would try to eat you or on the way they go and they clear the path you know they take care of all that that's what they're that's their part of their creation that's part of their path that's part of their mission just like everybody else has certain things they do there's, so there's certain ones that go and you know uh just clear the way okay so that other ones that come behind them have an easier path to stay on the rainbow bridge so it's kind of like it's a specialized force you could say like uh you know if uh i'll just leave it at that it makes sense right okay so now when you are See, I don't even know why I went with the last thing. I kind of went there and I went there. I'm going to go back to, okay, so you're sitting and everything is good. You could technically, if you're getting knowledge and you're, you know, doing the right things and you're, you know, making your heart light and you're, you're giving as much as you receive and, you know, you're not letting your heart be weighed down by, you know, holding on to everything and just wanting to possess things and you're, you know, you're a giving and receiving spirit because you don't want to just give all the time either. You got to love yourself too. So you must receive and you must give. The more you receive, the more you can give, and the more you give, the more you can receive. They're the same thing. So if you are on the path, okay, and your intention's pure and everything's good, and if you're watching these videos, there's a good chance that, you know, you're on the path, so there's certain things I shouldn't have to say. Um, but for example, say everything's going good in your day, and you will be tested. Your counseling will be tested, you know, whenever you're on the path. It just comes with the territory. It's all good because it's all a game and it's all fun. And what would be the point if it wasn't some type of contest? Um, if everybody made it, then what would be the point? That doesn't, that's, that doesn't sound like a good time to me, you know. Um, everybody's a winner. Well, then what does being a winner mean? Then? Um, so everything's going good. And then out of nowhere, let's say, I don't even like use, I don't want to use that example because, um, let's say, okay, for example, and this doesn't happen to me, I'm not saying it as a personal example, it's just something that popped in my head. <laughs> let's say you're driving down the road, I think it might have been something, some song I heard or something, I don't know. Um, let's say you're driving down the road and everything's good, and then out of nowhere, your phone rings, answer it. And it's just like your ex, you know, you were just feeling all good. Everything was great. And then your ex calls you and she starts talking all this shit to you, bringing up all this old shit. And you're just bringing you back into the past and doing all these things and weighing you down. And as soon as she says something to you, like, um, just anything. Nah, 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 nah. And you, as soon as you give your attention to that, boom, you just fell. You just tripped up and fell off the rainbow bridge because you just let that certain energy affect your energy. So, and it could happen with anything. It's like, um, just like with the foods you eat, you know, every, every food has a certain signature, a certain energy. So a lot of the stuff that the so-called man puts out for you is going to be of a very low vibration and it's not food that you can eat on the rainbow bridge. It's just not food you can eat on the rainbow bridge. So you can't eat animals on the rainbow bridge because animals aren't walking on the rainbow bridge and you are what you eat. So you must eat high vibrational foods. So let's say, you know, so er, let's for another example, let's say you, everything's good. Everything's great. Everything's, you're having a good old day. You're walking the path and everything's smooth. And then somebody has a birthday party and you go to the birthday party and you eat a piece of cake and then you eat another piece of cake. And you're like, oh, that's the best cake I ever had. You eat another piece of cake. You eat like three pieces of cake. And now you got sick to your stomach. Now you're feeling shitty. Now you're regretting that you ate all that cake and all like that. And then, and then, and then you just fell off the rainbow bridge again. It's, 
And it could be something so simple as you're sitting down, everything is good, and a thought pops in your head like, what if all this isn't real? What if you're crazy? What if, what if, what, 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 what? And then as soon as you start thinking about that, as soon as you give any type of attention to that thought, you just fall off the rainbow bridge again. So a rainbow bridge to stay on the rainbow bridge, what you need to do is stay in constant harmony with yourself, with your true self. And if you're, <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny, even hearing myself say certain things, it's funny because I know that it, it's all a joke, really. The universe is a big joke. If, from my perspective, the universe is one big joke. Nothing about it is serious at all, at all, at all. So I try to, you know, I, I, I try to come from the point of oneness as much as possible. But I know a lot of people, you know, if they do watch these videos, they're not really gonna, you know, they don't really want that because that's not fun. And I feel you on that. It's really, it's sometimes it's not really fun. You know, if you're just sitting there as oneness and you know everything, like, shit, there's no contest, there's no drama, there's no nothing. So you play the game. So I guess some of these, some of what I say about the video is going to help you kind of play the game a little better, help me play the game a little bit better, you know, because, you know, it's like that Tupac song, you know, looking at the world through my rear view and then, 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 then he's like, the world is a game to be played. And once you know the rules to the game, it's like you're playing life, so life's not playing you, you know. So you just got to learn more than you knew the last day and you're doing better in the game. Um it's like once you think you have some shit figured out, you totally fucked up. Like, what's that? What's that saying? That's uh, as soon as you decide what is, you close your mind to the possibility of what could be. So, yeah, don't don't decide what is, cause you know that's no fun. Um, what else was I saying? See, I'll be all over the place. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Rainbow Bridge, Rainbow Bridge, Rainbow Bridge. Okay, so the way you stay on the Rainbow Bridge is focus. Always staying focused. When the 13 Sun talks about putting yourself in that pyramid, when you're imagining that pyramid over yourself or you're imagining that aura around yourself or whatever, what you're really doing is you're focusing on your highest vibration. So it's like you can't focus on a pyramid of light around your body and also be focusing on the cake you just ate. You know, it's like if you're focusing on the cake you ate and you're letting yourself feel sick, that's going to affect your whole vibration. If you're if you're focusing on like a shield around your body or you're focusing on you're using that crown, then technically it's going to raise your vibration just in that moment. And the higher you can put on your vibe, the higher you can raise your vibration in the moment, the more chance that you will have to be firmly placed on the rainbow bridge. Um, it's not to say that everything on the rainbow bridge is, you know, easy you know, because it's not supposed to be, because it's not meant for everyone. The Rainbow Bridge is not meant for everyone. But at the same time, you know, it's, if you're already on the path, then be very thankful and, you know, give a lot of appreciation for that because, you know, um, technically, technically you got a head start because, and actually I don't really know because for what I think is that these videos that I'm making, a lot of people probably won't see them until they realize what's really going on and they realize that certain people just aren't here anymore they disappeared i don't know really what happened it's because the mission's over and now it's time to leave again so they will be able to look at a video like this and there's other ones too people you know talk about these certain things and it's just a vibration really you know that uh that unlocks the dna because i'm not really saying anything that you don't already know if you're gonna make